G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at today is we're going to be having a look at uh, it's part two sort of a video I've been doing, which is looking at an easy way of doing long division. So like we were having a look at last lesson, we were looking at dividing 19 into numbers. This time we're going to be using numbers which end in 9 also. Uh, and then we're going to start getting into harder numbers. But it's, it's, I really recommend you have a look at the link if you haven't had a look at the earlier video already. But anyway, we're going to move on now to numbers that still end in 9 but get a little bit more complex. So the first ones we're going to be dealing with, we're going to be dealing still with multipliers and things like this. But I'm going to be dividing 29 into 3,124. And so let's have a look at how we do this. Now, last lesson we had a look at, we were having a look at these things called multipliers. Now, first off, what we have to do is realise which number is this closest to in terms of 10. So it's closest to 30. So I'm going to put the 3 from the 30 there. And the other thing we have to know is how many steps or how many numbers do we have to move to get to that 30, which is a plus 1. Okay, we have to add 1 to 29 to get to 30. And this is known as our multiplier. Now the multiplier is not going to seem that important again in today's video but I'm going to keep mentioning it because it's a really really handy thing to know and it's something that's very important. Okay. The other thing to remember is this very last number is our remainder number. We did we treat that a little bit differently. Okay. So let's start out doing this. So how do we do this? Well we start with this first number. So we go 3 and we divide 3 into it. So what's 3 divided by 3? It's 1. Okay, That's always a nice easy one to work out. And we're not going to do much to that. Okay, But this one here, as we were doing in the last video, our answer that we got for the previous numbers affects the numbers we get for this next part of our answer. Okay, This is kind of a cool little thing I find with this. But the numbers that we get previously affect our, our other answers to get our, the correct answer. Okay, So what we do here is we've got a, okay, a 1, and what we have to do is, to this 1 we add the number here, which is this number up here, times by our multiplier. So 1 times 1, which is 1, we get the answer of 2. And this is the number we're dividing 3 into. So 2 divided by 3, well we can't do, we get a remainder of 2. I'm going to put that there, and I get this answer of 0. OK, did you get that? We'll go through that again and sorry here we go um, where are we so there we go 22 and we get this 0 and we times it by the multiplier so 0 times 1 is nothing unfortunately so we don't have to add anything to this and now we divide this number by 3 22 divided by 3 equals 7 I'll put the 7 up there with the remainder of 1 I'll put the 1 down here now what we're doing is we're working out our remainder okay Pretty easy. This question I have chosen one that's purposely easy. It'll get get harder next next question. Okay, so this one here. What do we do? We get fourteen, and what we again have to do is we have to add this number on, which has been times by the multiplier. Okay, so seven times one is seven, and we're going to add that to our fourteen here. So we get the answer of twenty-one. This is our remainder. Our remainder is twenty-one. So the answer is 107, remainder 21. Pretty cool, right? OK, let me give you a harder question now. All right. Rub all those out. I'll keep the multiplier there because we're going to be talking about him again and I'm not going to be letting him go. But say we do uh, 59 and we're going to divide into that. Uh, well, we're going to divide that into 6. 63,214. So let's first off, if we add 1, which is our multiplier now, okay, we have to add 1, and again, that becomes our multiplier. We get very, very close to 6. Okay, so 6 goes into 6 once. Okay, this 3 here, this 3 we add to 1 times a multiplier. Okay, so 1 times a multiplier is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, 3 plus 1 equals 4. So 4 divided by 6 equals, hey, we just get a remainder of 4. We're still getting a 0 there, or well, we're getting a 0 there, we get a remainder of 4 there. So this leads us to the next number. Okay, so we've got 42. 
42, we're going to add to that 0 times the multiplier, which I mean, is going to be 0. So 42, we now just divide by 6. So 42 divided by 6 equals 7. Okay, this is a 7 here. All right, all good. Let's get on to this next number. Zero remainder there, by the way. Okay, so what we do now is we get this one here. Okay, we're working out this number here, so this one. And we add to this one seven times the multiplier. Okay, so seven times one is seven. So we're going to add that on. So we get the answer of one plus seven equals eight. Eight, now we divide six into it and we get the answer of 1 with a remainder of 2. So there's my 1, and I'm going to put a 2 down there. Now, what you probably remember now, and you, you probably, uh, you know, you, you realise I might have forgotten, this is our remainder number, this last number, OK? Now, how do we work this number? It's a slightly different one. We get this 24 here, and what we do is we add this times the multiply. So 1 times 1, we're going to add 1 to it. And so 24 plus, 20, or plus 1 equals 25. We get a remainder of 25. And that's our answer. Hey, pretty cool, right? The next video we're going to start getting even harder than this. So make sure you know how to do those. Uh, it's really, 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 really a much easier way than doing standard uh, long division. Anyway, any questions, let us know. I'll see you next time.